There are a number of tools at a manager's disposal for mitigating transform, uh, uh, performance transgressions. I think the most common one that comes to mind is a written warning. Uh, the idea of a documented verbal warning or a written warning or a final written warning is usually three steps in most companies' progressive discipline paradigms. Um, those are important. They bring to the employee's attention formally that either the performance or the conduct is a problem, it remains a problem, and it, it, it sets what the expectations are to fix things going forward. Also important uh, from a litigation defense standpoint that it was in writing because many judges and arbitrators will say if it wasn't written down, it never happened. So the idea of progressive discipline in the form of warnings is a great idea. Um, another thing that companies use, I don't hear about it as much, but um, these unpaid suspensions, um, I think they still happen. I would try and avoid those. I would recommend you rethink that if you're using that in your organization. My logic is this, it kind of smacks of the 1960s or the 1970s. You were punishing them, you were taking away their pay. They would be embarrassed in front of their family to say, oh, my pay was docked. It has kind of a humiliation element to it. I don't think most workers would respond well to that. I don't know that it really belongs in today's day and age. There may be exceptions, of course. This is a cultural question that you have to ask yourself, but most organizations have gotten away from that. The third element would be something like a decision-making leave. A decision-making leave is a chance for the employee to have a one day off with pay chance to rethink whether they want to stay in the organization or not. And I know it sounds kind of counterintuitive to give people a day home with pay to stay home, but the reality is it's a once in a career benefit. It shows respect for the individual and it lets them think about, are we the right place for you? And if we're not, we can still be friends. We can part ways and we'll do it. But if you decide you want to stay tomorrow when you're home, then you have to give me a letter. I want a letter from you assuming responsibility for the perception problem that's, that's become a problem for you uh, for, for the last six months or whatever it happens to be. I really want you to assume responsibility or at least partial responsibility for what's been going wrong and it's a commitment letter to me that you're fully on board and you're ready to go again. I will take that letter, it will be placed in your personnel file. As long as you don't violate the commitment that you're making, you'll be fine. But I, I, I do see this as a gift for you to think about whether we're the right organization and, and whether you want to stay with us. Most people respond very favorably to those types of interventions. Thank <laughs> you.